stay in the distance. The group one, Grossa Prey von Berlin. The favourite was Joseph O'Brien's Al no, Riffer. King of Conquest and Adri de Vries completing the lineup into stall number seven. Now they are all set under orders and they are racing for the 134th running of the Westminster Grosse Preis von Berlin. 2,400 metres is the dis distance and already there's a little bit of looking around on the inside. You just saw Tunna, Sandra Starker looking to see if anybody was going to uh, make the running. The one who's moved up on the outer is the uh, total outsider Lips Prince, so it's Lips Prince who leads with on the inside Tunis. These two being followed by Al Riffer on the inner, who's fairly prominent. Narrativo is fighting against Butz and Murzabayev. King of Conquest is settled more towards the outside. And then finally the last two, those are Best of Lips on the inner and Mr Hollywood the maroon and white on the outside. So swinging right-handed and through the first 800 metres or so. And Tuna's just beginning to stretch it on a little bit now, but the pace is nothing special. And Tunis leads by two and a half lengths to Lips Prince in second. Al Riffa in third. Following that one, Narrativo is now settling a little bit more in fourth. Then towards the inside, Best of Lips, who's travelling strongly, moves past King of Conquest and then Mr Hollywood still at the back of the field. So I think uh, McMonagall would be pretty pleased with the way things are going at the moment. He's getting a lovely toe through from Tunis, who continues to lead by two lengths from Lips Prince in second. On the inside, Al Riffa in knee grey and white check jacket, white and red on the outside of Narrativo. King of Conquest now moves up on the uh, outside to get a little bit closer with Best of Lips and Mr Hollywood still at the back of the field. Now ready to make the right-handed turn at the top of the course, coming down towards the 800 post. And still the lead with Tunis shows by a length to the big outsider Lips Prince. But Al Riffer is right in behind this leader in third position, racing fourth Narrativo. No moves from further behind, although King of Conquest is now being shaken up, the blue jacket on the outside. Uh, Al Riffer has seen a gap and now is asked to move through and take on Tunis for the lead. Now we find Find out whether Al Riffa stays. Narrativo is beginning to finish on the outside as Al Riffa goes to the front and Al Riffa now goes on by a couple of lengths. Narrativo is in pursuit in second position as they go past the 200 but Al Riffa stretches on, goes five, six lengths clear. Al Riffa stays and Al Riffa is a proper group one horse. Al Riffa wins it from Narrativo in second. Close call third, best of lips in a photo with Mr Hollywood. Hmm, that was easy. Al Riffa wins for the third time in his nine-start career. He was second to City of Troyes last time out, and trainer Joseph O'Brien has him nominated for the Irish Champion Stakes over 2,000 metres on the 14th of September and the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe on the 6th of October. And he has had some success on soft ground, which is always handy heading into the arc. Check the odds. Pick a winner. Narrativo has run a huge race in second and has beaten off the uh, best older horses in Germany by a good five 